Okay, this is 442 Cromwell. Is this one right here. Just to give you a view of the street before we go in, here's the driveway. Nice big long driveway. Uh, if you wanted to put another driveway on the other side because we're on a corner lot, that could be easily done. Or even anywhere down this side, most likely you could add uh, another driveway if you wanted to. <clears throat> now it is oil heated, so there's the oil fill spot right there. All the basement windows are huge and uh, new. Just thought I'd give you a quick view of the outside before we go in. This is nicely done here. <clears throat> so it's three bedrooms upper and then lots of potential in the basement. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of work that can be done up here. So this is the living room. The dining room over there. And then this is the kitchen. It's nicely done. Nice cabinets, good countertop. I think that's granite actually. Yeah, it's solid. I believe that's granite. So the kitchen's very nice. Back here we've got our three bedrooms. The flooring's just laminate, but it's okay. These have the original hardwood in them. So, you know, you could you could either refinish them or or possibly put down a new floor if you wanted to. All the windows, like I said, are <coughs> relatively new. They look just like one that you would get if you bought new ones. Nice white vinyl. And then that's bedroom number one. Bedroom number two. Nice corner windows in there. Here's the view from here. See your, that's the school right there. And then <clears throat> bedroom number three. They all have closets. And a linen closet back here, lots of room in there. And the bathroom. Now the bathroom they have changed from its original so that it's kind of modified the stairs by the looks of it. It's, it's kind of uh, interesting, but you'll see what I mean. But the bathroom looks great, right? <clears throat> Then as you go downstairs, <clears throat> there's the side door here, but we don't have to worry about these stairs being weird. There's a, there's a potentially a spot for a washer dryer right here actually, and then the upper could still have access to this door if you wanted to split it into two units. Um, because we've got a whole separate entrance down here, so this looks... This is fantastic for adding a second suite, right? <clears throat> you just come around, come in this door, and then the plumbing for a kitchen is already here. So just put it around here, possibly a little more kitchen over on this side. <clears throat> nice big living room, bathroom's already got the shower, so it's ready to go. And then we've got, <coughs> excuse me, one bedroom already here, right? Probably get rid of that. These windows, see what I mean there? Nice big windows. Any one of them could be egress. Of course, you might want it in a back room, seeing as how the door is right there. So this staircase could potentially come right out. And it is oil heat, <clears throat> so I haven't checked the street for gas, but you know what, the oil here, this oil tank is just under half full. Um, there's the fuse panel. So we've got a fuse panel, but it does look like all copper wiring, right? So, ugh. there we go. 
and I would turn this into bedroom number two. The furnace is nicely tucked out of the way already. I just moved that water heater back in there or somewhere else anyways. There's lots of room under the stairs, even over there. <clears throat> and then the other thing is that this one would have a nice big walk-in closet. So you got this, I mean, you can't even really see that, but huge area back here for a walk-in closet off this bedroom. It's uh, it's block on both sides, so so I thought, why did they not expand out of their bedroom? But we got a block wall there. So this is the original cold cellar. Okay. So, I mean, a ton of potential here. Oh, the one thing that I mentioned is, so I measured under the beam right here. We got a beam running down the center. Oh, where's my measuring tool? So I measured under the beam right here on this end. So I'm going here. And we've got six foot five and seven sixteenths. So almost six foot five and a half. It is a little bit on the border of uh, not quite sure if it would be okay just as it is, but I would think that it should be easy to at the very most do one section of this. You could pick any section, maybe, you know, and then the other sections, what I would do is just have some kind of bookcase or something in between the in between the two posts so you're not blocking off the entire room but it's not meant to be a path where people walk so then you can see that the duct is higher so we've got our head height under the duct all the way through they've just framed it down here a bit possibly to be in line with the beam this place has a ton of potential and, uh, and it's priced well, I think. Um, it's been up for, I think, 22 days as I'm making this video. So there probably is a little bit of room for movement. And that is it, 442 Cromwell.